Hello everyone and welcome back. This is episode 5 of my Roman X Pathfinder uh, Let's Play series. Uh, Pathfinder is a great mod pack for Minecraft 1.7.10 if this is your first time watching. And if it is the first episode you're watching, you might want to go back and watch the earlier ones. Um, as always, uh, if you like it, I'd appreciate getting a like. Um, comments are always welcome. All I ask is that you uh, keep them constructive and keep them clean because we could have young viewers and uh, I don't want to offend anybody. And without further ado, we can now get into the game. So, I hope you like the new title screen too, by the way. Uh, what have I been doing since last time? Okay, well, I, you know, I'm going to be uh, expanding the farm a bit. Uh, we, we do want to get some more foods going. We can get into some of the uh, Pam's Harvest Craft crops. Uh, and, uh, you know, variety in food is very important. We can hopefully start uh, at some point making some better foods. Um, I created two big plots here. Uh, you know, I've got water in the center. It's enough to water all this. Um, I don't like going with the big channels. I just find I keep falling into them all the time. And then you, you jump out and you wind up compacting the, the soil sometimes. So, you know, one, one tile is all it takes to water all this. I've got quite a few plots uh, one by threes for, for breeding, uh, uh, crossbreeding my crops, and uh, you know I could get obviously get a whole lot more in here, um, but you know it, it's it's fine. It, you know, this is going to this just ten here will keep us pretty busy, and, and the reason I've got sand here is uh, we can grow sugar cane, and we can grow uh, when we have some we, uh, if we crossbreed to get uh, cactus seeds, we can also do cactus. Uh, both of those require sand. Uh, I, I haven't you know, done anything with the tiles in between. It just makes it a little bit easier to kind of keep track of things. Um, did a little, you know, I, I cleared all this out. I leveled all this out. It was you know, up a bit. Um, you know, I, I had a bunch of these flowers. So, you know, I kind of planted them around the house. Kind of pretty it up. Not a big deal. Um, over here, I marked out where I'm going to put the smeltery, and that's one of the first things I want to get going today because that is uh, very very important uh, so we can start doubling some ores, start making some better tools and start getting to uh, some of those uh, uh, more difficult ores like the gold that we found down there and uh, I was down in the mine speaking of which and uh, you know I, I went and mined up, I, I got a whole bunch of iron, I got a lot of tin I actually got an awful lot more coal than this um, I'm actually going to go throw that in the chest now. Cause I want to get them out of here. And we have a reward bag from last time, too. And I didn't want to open that without you guys. Because I figured, with my luck, it'll wind up being something other than a dim litter. It'll be something nice. Uh, of course, now that I said that... Oh, no, we got some cooked fish. Oh, great. <laughs> well, hey, it's more food. Uh, not, Still not quite what I was hoping for, but I guess it, it you know, it's... Better maybe than another dimlet. Okay, so let's uh, start taking some of this out. Uh, throw those in here. I just want to get this bag empty so we have it if we need the space. Now, we, you know, we can certainly make more bags. Um, and that will let us carry more stuff in the bags. Um, but it also will tie up uh, hot bar slots because we can't nest these bags inside of each other so yeah, that's kind of an issue um, another thing let me just sort this here uh, off camera the other thing I did is I went out I, we need uh, some at least one feather to make the agricultural journal and I'm not sure if we need them for anything else but uh, we want to get that done it's a quest and it's going to unlock some other quests after it so we don't really have much choice on in the matter I the only way I can get feathers is by killing the chickens. They don't shed them in this pack. Uh, and I needed leather, which meant going out and, again, killing to, to get some leather. Uh, you know, we, since the game is on peaceful mode, I you know kind of would like to not kill animals. Uh, but, you know, I just don't really have that choice. I, I apologize if that offends anybody. Uh, it's just, you know, kind of the nature of the pack. Now, uh, as far as food goes, um, if... You know, once we uh, crossbreed and get some soybean seeds, uh, we can use a, 
uh, take the soybeans, put them in it through the presser from Pam's Harvest Craft, and uh, we would then get, I think it's, you first you get firm tofu, and then you can run it through again, you get um, silken tofu, um, you also, through one of those steps, get, uh, so, uh, I get soy milk as a byproduct. Um, the, uh, the different tofus can be used in recipes in place of uh, using meat. And uh, the, uh, the soy milk um, is uh, a substitute for milk or, uh, I don't know if it substitutes directly for cream or you make cream from it. Uh, but it, you know, it's it's a way of making those uh, recipes that would normally require milk or meat uh, with without having to uh, milk animals or uh, kill animals to, to get meat. So that's pretty good. I, there are some things you still can't do. Epic bacon still requires pork. So if if you want to make epic bacon, uh, which is actually probably one of the the, the best meals, it it'll fill almost your entire a hunger bar and most of your saturation um, but it does require uh, raw pork I believe and uh, a number of different dyes and in this pack the uh, you, you know, the only choice for the green dye is the cactus green which means you need cactus and for blue you have to use lapis um, there isn't any other blue dye um, and my experience with this pack is that lapis can be very, very difficult to get. And you probably aren't going to just, you know, want to squander it away making lots and lots of, of bacon. Plus, you know, you're not fighting things. Chances are you're not going to let your hunger get that low anyway. And you can't just eat epic bacon as much as some people might want to just eat bacon all day long. It's not healthy for you, and it's not going to really be satisfying. And uh, after you, you eat it a couple of times, uh, you have to still have to uh, vary your foods. Um, ideally, uh, you know, if you have six different good foods you can eat, you're all set uh, because you know you can eat each one twice. That gets you through the 12, and you just go back to the beginning and start over again. Um, most of the time, you don't need feasts, um, so yeah, not too bad. Now. Um, one thing I did notice, which I, I was a little surprised about, is um, I was under the impression that, you know, like light meals were all kind of the same in terms of what they satisfy in hunger and, and saturation. Um, but there's actually a couple of things, a couple of cases I noticed where there, there are some differences between them. Uh, and, that, you know, for the most part, you, ha you have morsels, snacks, uh, light meals, meals, and then you have feasts. And each one progressively does more. Um, and then there's, uh, you can get unsatisfying or uh, I think, it, or light, well no, I guess light meals and before meal. Uh, but like unsatisfying, an unsatisfying meal is not as fulfilling as uh, the meal would be uh, for the most part. But there are some cases, you know, you kind of look and you notice that, you know, you know, these two light meals, you would think they'd be the same, but they're not. And I, I, I think it might have to do with the complexity sometimes of, of what it is. Maybe it's just an inconsistency that they they didn't uh, do. Um, but let's get to the smeltery, because that is a quest. And uh, let's open the quest book here. And it should be under this one, I believe. Yes, so it wants a seared tank, a smeltery controller, a smeltery drain and a faucet. Uh, it says two seared bricks. You can eat a lot more than two seared bricks. I, I can you do a two by two? I, I don't know. Two might be enough to do a little, the tiniest one. I'm not sure even there, because no, you couldn't be, because you need you need four just for the base that's going in the ground. Um, so that, you know you're going to need more than just two seared bricks, no matter what size uh, smelter you make. They do have to be uh, a rectangular footprint, so uh, sorry, a square footprint. So it could be a two by two or three by three. You can make four by fours. Um, I, I'm not sure if you can go to five by five, um, but you can also build up in levels, same size. Um, so I usually go with the three by three because that gives you nine tiles. That means you can throw nine ore in there, and nine ore, excuse me, <coughs> nine ore will uh, allow you to get 
uh, will, it'll, it'll give you 18 uh, ingots worth of uh, molten material and then you can pour that into a casting basin uh, and the casting basin will, will basically make one block of it. So it, let's say you throw uh, nine iron ore into a smeltery, you're going to wind up with 18 buckets uh, worth of uh, molten iron and you can pour that out in the casting base and wind up with two blocks of iron, which is the equivalent of 18 ingots. But it's more convenient to, to pour one block than it is to pour nine separate ingots, um, especially if you're manually taking them out. Now, uh, you can automate the removal very easily. Uh, uh, usually early game, what I do is I just put a hopper under the uh, casting basin. I usually do it under the, uh, the casting table as well and just have them feed into a chest which we'll see and once I have some iron I'll, I'll do that um, and that way I you know I have to uh, initially I'm still clicking to, to make it pour but I don't have to worry about taking it out right so I can just click have it pour um, it, you know with, with 1.7 uh, dot, I'm sorry yeah 1.7.10 Minecraft the, the version of Tinkers uh, the blocks cool very quickly. Now, the later versions for 1.10 and above, uh, it, it takes time to cool. The blocks take a while, and you actually get a little progress in thing when you're looking at it. Um, but we don't have to worry about that here. So you can sit and you can do them very fairly quickly that way. But you know, it's just kind of taking a little bit of that extra work out. Um, you don't have to worry about it. if you're you know casting metal parts on the table. Uh, you can pour it, and when it disappears, you can be swapping the mold. You, you know, just it kind of saves you a step. It can be a little bit better. Now, um, there are some ways you can also use uh, like a, uh, an item pipe to pull things out of the casting base, and that will work just fine. Uh, and I believe it'll work just fine for for the uh, you know both the table and the, the basin because the the table it's not going to pull the mold out. It'll only pull the the finished piece out. I do an item. You know, conduit or an item duct isn't going to, you know, pull a liquid out. So, and you can, you can uh, pipe liquids into, say, a basin. Uh, I don't know if you can do it to a table, but I know you can do it to a basin. Um, so, like I, I had mentioned uh, in an earlier episode, I had a planet that had liquid endurium. I'd bring a, a big barrel of it back, and I just, you know, put a, a pipe on it into to a casting basin. I had a mold there. Uh, Use a uh, pan mold uh, to get the uh, uh, to get ender pearls. So I would have it you know, automatically pipe into that, and then I was pulling the the ender pearls out of the the table. So yeah, I guess you can pipe liquids into a table, um, and that way I was you know I just <laughs> I'd bring the barrel back, I'd set it there, I'd come back, and I'd have a, a chest full ender pearls. It was wonderful. <laughs> it was really great. And then I you know I could have probably. You know, done something if I had, but I don't think we have a, any kind of real pump mechanism here. But if you were planning a pack where you had uh, a pump like uh, the Billcraft pump or something, you could, uh, you know, I guess drain uh, drain one of those whole lakes of whatever you know liquid thing that you were doing, and uh, you know have it come back automatically and do it. And, you know, you'd be up to your uh, <laughs> your chests and uh, literally in full of ender pearls. They don't stack very high normally, so <laughs> uh, you don't really want a lot of them. Anyway, let's let's get started on these. Now, I I, I did smelt up, uh, cook up that seared brick, so I got a bunch of it. Uh, I don't want to hold too many at once. First thing we'll do, I guess, is make the controller, because that's a logical place to start. Now, you can only have one controller on a smeltery. Um, so there's a smeltery uh, controller. Uh, let's make, um, we will make a casting basin. I think it actually just asks for a table, but I'm going to make both because, as I say, I like being able to just pour out blocks. So there's a table, there's a smeltery controller. Let's open the quest book. Uh, and you see we got credit for the controller and for the table. And it wasn't asking for a basin here, so um, well, I'm going to run out of space here. Let me, uh, let me pull some things out of here. Throw them in the other chest. And throw the red wool over there too. Right, that should be enough for right now. And 
you guys can all go over there. All right. We'll be actually freeing up some space as we uh, uh, make more parts. So we got those. Uh, we also need the tank. Now a tank is kind of similar to the controller, but it has a piece of glass in the center. And that gives us a tank. Now uh, this tank holds four buckets or 4,000 millibuckets uh, and uh, we can actually take it with us and you can break you can break this out of a, a completed smeltery even if it has stuff in it it won't hurt anything so you can just take this with you in your bucket you can go get four buckets now if you're making a, a trip and you want lots and lots of lava you want something bigger than this we do have uh, the uh, the portable uh, fluid tanks or portable tanks um, I forget which mod pack that is, uh, and uh, that you know, those will hold a lot more. Uh, I think the small one holds 16 buckets, and uh, we also have drums, and, and you, you, know, you can get drums that hold a lot, a lot of uh, lava if you want. Um, you don't really go through the lava that quickly. I mean, four bucks is going to last you a while. By the time you you know you use that up. You know, we're we're gonna we're gonna have a pulverizer pretty soon. We're gonna be making one for a quest, so that's not so bad. So there's a tank, and we need a uh, faucet. And of course, I've got some of my inventory. I'm taking them out of the the chest. So I'm actually gonna make two of these, even though the quest only calls for one, because uh, we made both the the tank. Uh, sorry, the the, ta the casting basin and the table. And it wants some uh, some bricks. We'll make some bricks. Put you there for now. Uh, there's the two. I think. Yeah. Oh, we still need this. Oh, we didn't make the drains. Of course. Uh, we need uh, a couple of drains. Now, drain just like that. I'll make two of them. Now, I don't have to actually make two because um, you can put the, the even though the, it'll only show uh, a whole at least at least with either with this version of the pack or maybe just with my uh, uh, Invictus uh, modded uh, sh um, resource pack uh, it only shows a, a drain hole on one side but you can you can still put uh, you know if you put this in a corner you could you know have two uh, faucets on it so I don't have to make two of them but why not you know it's it, we have we have a, a good amount of brick I'm gonna make some more brick uh, even though the quest didn't ask for it uh, I just need more so uh, let's see, we're gonna have two left over from here I'm just gonna make these all up because even if I don't need them all to build what I've got now when we go to make the uh, the uh, tool forge, uh, we will we will need uh, three for that. Um, so they're going to get used. Now let's uh, see. That should complete that quest, which it does. We're going to get another reward bag, which dropped on the ground because I'm out of space. Uh, <laughs> and we're not going to let this one rot. Okay. So let me pick that up and let's take a look. Uh, actually, let's uh, first put these things in here. Uh, now we can open this up and more fish. Maybe it's we, we've gone into fish mode now. I, I don't know. I, I think dimlets probably better than that, but it is some different food. And speaking of food, actually, I guess I'll eat uh, some of this fish. Uh, not sure how much that's going to. Let's see. What is that going to restore? Not a whole lot. But hey, uh, you know, I just ate two different. Oops, two different meals. Uh, that was the right chest anyway. Um, and so, you know, that, that reset something that I'd eaten, uh, you know, 12 meals, actually, I guess 13 or 14 meals. And I am getting just phenomenal numbers of apples. More apples than I can actually eat right now. Uh, well, I guess I can eat them, but I just, I don't get a lot of return from them. But something else we can make from these. And let me show you that real quick. Uh, it's another food. Uh, bowls in here. Uh, I, know I should have some bowls still. Here they are. 
um, you can oh, that one's got something in it so if I put the bowl and I put two fruit with it oh are you not do we not have fruit medley oh don't tell, tell me we don't have fruit medley maybe it doesn't work with apples I thought it did fruit uh, uh, August I guess we don't okay well <laughs> Forget forget I said that. <laughs> um, I I thought we uh, I, I thought we could make those. Um, there is something called a, a fruit medley which you can make with uh, apples or any of the berries, um, and it's a bowl I believe with with two fruit. And uh, I don't I just I guess we can't do that. Um, ooh, fruit crumble that sounds delicious. A, a lot of these. <laughs> You look at some of these, it can make you hungry. I don't care what you like to eat. I'm about there's probably something there that you would you would like. Uh, look, there's an apple, another apple already. Um, so we, I don't have any of the. Uh, oh, let's uh, see what we've got next for quest. So we did that, and um, we still have to make this agricultural journal. So let's do that, and um, this unlocked. Okay, it wants us to make a pick head cast, and that's made with aluminum brass, and a stone pickaxe head, oh, which we, that's, we're going to use that to make the mold. Now, we, we could you know, use this and make your upgrade your pick to a stone head like I did here, right? This has got a, a stone pickaxe head. I kept the other parts wood still. Um, and actually, this thing has got has been upgraded a little bit more. So is my uh, my Matic. Um, but we're gonna we'll make a mold for that now. Uh, we, before we can actually make the molds, though, we got to get the smeltery up, get it working. And uh, oh, there was a seed thing too. We needed um, that's right. We need to make the agriculture journal. Let's make that now. So, agricultural journal. We need a book and quill. A book and quill needs a book. Get up there. One of these uh, ink sacks that some poor unfortunate squid had to give his life for. I should have killed three chickens before I, I got the book and quill. And then that's just the book and quill in the center. And we need some seeds. Uh, I wish I don't know what this... Why one of them is different, so... Uh, probably got better stats than the other or something. Okay. Why no work? I thought that was the recipe. Let me just check. Oh, 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 I forgot the crop sticks. I have crop sticks with me. There we go. All right, one agricultural journal. Let's complete the quests. Agricultural journal. We get another reward bag. Probably get some more fish. The next thing it's going to want us to do is make a seed analyzer, which is good. We want to do that, and we got four seared bricks. Well, it isn't fish or uh, <laughs> or uh, more dimlet, so I guess I should be happy. Um, so, the agriculture journal, we'll take a look at that in a second. I'm going to grab these seared bricks. I still want to get that smelt rebuilt. So, we can look through this, and uh, you probably can't even read that so small. Hello? Why? Come on. Oh, come on. Hello? Oh, good. maybe it doesn't know anything yet. Okay. It might might not be able to, to go any further because uh, we we haven't analyzed any seeds with this thing sitting in the seed analyzer. I bet that's what the issue is. Why don't, let's make the seed analyzer then. Uh, the seed analyzer right here. See, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's two oak planks, two oak slabs, three sticks, and a pane of glass. Uh, yes, we should have enough. So that and that right and a, and a pane of 
pane glass pane being made from six pieces of glass uh, and then the three sticks oh, of course I don't have enough sticks I never have enough sticks what I, what is this okay um, we'll do it in here four sticks throw them throw one more stick in here uh, did I do something wrong here oh this one's got to be a stone slab okay not not a wooden slab um, tell me I've got a stone slab here I do not uh, do I have well I do have some stone uh, hello thank you I'll come over here and do it here uh, some slabs go back in there and we'll put the sl stone slab there and uh, that does it okay so there's our seed analyzer now uh, we're going to use this when we have seeds to analyze them um, do I have some seeds I think I still have a couple seeds let me grab uh, the barley seed mm -hmm. oh. I guess I won't plant those just yet. Oh, I'm going to analyze these two so we'll see how that looks. And I usually like to put the seed analyzer close to uh, where I am doing my farming. It seems to make sense because you're going to wind up using it a lot. And we're going to stick it like right here I guess. Back up a little bit. And now if we open this up, we have a place to put the journal. That goes in here. And you can actually shift click it in there. Now uh, take the seed and place it here. You see it start to identify it. And it says says growth one, gain one, strength one. Uh, which is just a, a basic generic seed. Now note, however, this will not stack with a, a generic seed now uh, because uh, you know it's been analyzed. I guess it's got some different metadata or something. And we got beets. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, Let's take the book out. If we look at the book now, all right. Let's see. We should be. Able, yes. Okay. So it tells you a little bit about barley seeds, um, and what it gives you, and you know this shows you what the the different growth stages look like. Vanilla pictures, and then if there's mutations and stuff, it, it'll, they'll show up here. And why do I not have? There we go. Beet seeds. Uh, so it'll gives you beets, shows you the growth stages, any crossbreeds that you know about. I thought it also showed like blank images for ones you didn't know about yet, but maybe that's something that's configurable and turned off. And yeah, that those are the only two seeds that we've analyzed. Now, obviously we have some other seeds. We've got carrot seeds and potato seeds and, and regular uh, seeds for wheat down there. But, you know, they, we haven't analyzed them yet, so the journal doesn't know about them. We'll stick the book back in here, so that as we analyze things in the future, we'll be all set. Um, while I'm over here, let's start throwing some of these bricks down. I'm not sure you maybe have enough. So, basically, you've got a, a grid on the bottom. This is a 3x3, three three, but as I say, you can do a 2x2 two two or a 4x4. Four you might be able to do a 5x5. Five five. I'm just not sure how big they get. And then the next tier is set back one. Now we don't have to put anything in the corners. You can. Uh, and yeah, we don't have enough to, to complete this, of course. Um, and we can go and get some of the other pieces. And then we'll see exactly how, if, if we're short. Um, so let's grab... Uh, what do I want? Let me grab the drains and the controller uh, grab those crop sticks just throw these crops down real quick let's get them out of my inventory we'll throw one there throw one there we'll plant our barley here I guess and put the beet there and a lot of I need to get them duplicated, so I'm going to put down cross crops. That's two. 
Okay, and we can put our start putting some more of this together now. Um, I use, you know you can set this up any way you want. I think the only um, rule you have to follow is the controller and the tank have to be on the same level. You can actually have multiple tanks, and you know if you're making it taller, I, you can like stack the tanks one above the other. It'll automatically drain into the lower one. Um, and you can also uh, like put the portable tank on top of you know, if your sheared tank is is you know accessible above it. Like you know it's sitting on, it's on one level or it's it's at the top level. Um, if I'm you know, like doing this uh, higher up, uh, you know I would I would tend to put the controller up higher. So you know, I had that tank at the top. Put a portable tank on it there. You have to hit it with a wrench to change the bottom of the tank from uh, input to output, and it will automatically drain down into the uh, the other tank, and and those will hold quite a bit. Now I'm going to put the drains like that. So I got the hole there, but I don't know if it's just this texture pack um, or if it's uh, just this version of the pack. I know I've seen this though, where there's like holes on all the sides. And uh, we'll go get the casting basin. And, and the, uh, the table. There we go. Well, I grabbed the tank too. I could go grab some lava. I think we're, we're a couple of bricks short though. I'm not sure if we have enough. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put the casting in here. Uh, there's our faucets. Now you can break uh, these things off. You can break any piece except the, the controller. I mean, you can break the controller. Um, if you break the controller, any fluids that are in there are lost. So it's one way to clear it out if you've got like a little bit of material you don't want. Um, the other pieces, you can break them freely. Um, you won't see the liquid in the tank anymore. But it's 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 still known. It's, I guess it's kind of stored with the controller. So as long as you don't break the controller, if you wanted to move things around later on, you can do that. Uh, you don't have a problem doing that. And it, that's usually the way I, I, I set it up. You know that way. You know whether I'm I'm doing uh, you know using the table or the basin. I've got the controller there. Now it isn't complete. If it was complete, we'd be getting a little flame. Uh, I'm going to probably put the lava tank here. I still need two more bricks, three more bricks, because I need one on that side too. And I'm not sure how much I have left. I may have to smelt up a little bit more. Let's, uh, I've got six. No, I do not have enough. Okay, so let's get, uh, we'll get, oops, I went in the wrong one. Uh, and I don't have that much sand, of course. Uh, gravel, I have gravel. And I have clay. Not as much as I would like, but let's see. There's sand, clay, gravel. This is actually going to get us six. Take these out, throw them back in the bin here. Alright, so I'll take our toast out. Well, that's just in time because I can eat some toast now. Uh, at the moment, toast is probably the best food we have. Um, we have toast sandwiches, which will do more, but it doesn't. It takes two pieces of toast to make one, and we don't uh, see we get like uh, two things of, of uh, food there. And we get three from the toast. If we ate, I'm sorry, the toast sandwich. If we ate two pieces of toast, we'd get a total of four instead of three. But you get diminishing returns. So eating four pieces of toast in a row might not give us as much as two pieces of toast and a toast sandwich. I'm not sure. Uh, I, I don't know how quickly it goes down. But there's one more brick. Uh, let's get the last one. That's going to get us the three that we need. Um, and then when we go to cast, I'll, I'll, I'll need an ingot of some sort. Um, you know, a lot of times you'll wind up with some extra seared bricks. Uh, but when we get to to, to uh, making casts and stuff, we will want to make a uh, 
uh, and ingot cast. And if you've got like leftover seared bricks, you can use those. Um, you can also, I may as well grab the bucket, which is. No, I guess it isn't here. Oh, there it is. I'll grab the bucket. We'll go grab a little bit of lava, throw it in the tank, and then we'll be able to complete this guy. So we're going to put one there, one there. We're going to go over here and put one there. And this is where the tank's going to go. That will complete the uh, the smeltery. Sorry I moved, if I move too quickly there. Um, I know some people get a little uh, motion sick and stuff. I apologize for that. I usually try not to do that. Um, and we've got the lava here. Um, now, a lot of this is flowing. It's not all. You should be careful. Do not want to fall in. I'll put that there. And we can... Yep, we got that one. And you see it starts to fill it up. And it tells you, in, in Wayla, that we got 1,000 out of 4,000. That's a millibucket. So that's one bucket. And you know, we put one bucket in, so that's good. <laughs> it matches. Can we grab that? Thank you. Throw that in there. Grab that one. Yes, we can. And I did find more lava. Actually, um, I found a, a bunch of interesting things down there. I, I found a little bit of redstone. Uh, found more gold. There we go. And that fills that up. Now, I could fill up the bucket with uh, oh, there's some iron. Uh, I'm not going to grab that right now. We have a bunch of iron. Whoa. <laughs> Uh, watch me fall in the lava and die. Um, especially in here where it's like so... There, there are probably places you you might be able to... Uh, might be able to get out, but... You know, if you got stuck in a place that was just like surrounded with obsidian... I, I don't know what you'd do. You'd, be, you'd have to probably like tunnel down and hope you didn't have lava pouring into you. Um, we can break this with a pickaxe. It'll hold its liquid. And let's go back. And so I, I I left the stone here when I was clearing this out, and it was kind of a railing. I don't want it's, it's not so deep anymore, but uh, I think that was the hole that uh, I almost fell into on the first episode. Uh, what a what a glorious way to start that would have been. Okay, so we got our lava, and now you'll notice oh we got flames here, and it's working, and you can tell the fuel level is here as well as looking at the tank. So that's, that's kind of convenient. Now if I go grab some iron, I'll throw that in there, we'll get that cooking up, and we'll be able to start doubling our ore. Yay! One, two, three, four, so there's nine. And I'll throw that in there. Now this will take a little time to, to cook up, but we just right click on the interface, there's nine. Now, you know, a lot of times I'll do this too high, especially if, you know, I've got a real easy source of uh, sand, clay, and gravel. We haven't been too bad. This, you know, I've, I've just been pulling it out of the river here, uh, so it hasn't been too bad. But, you know, it takes time to, to go and get all that, so it's, you know, it can be a little slow. Well, we may as well grab some more apples. Well, we've got so many apples now that uh, I don't have to eat, so. Uh, this one's done. I may, I may wind up moving these trees. I was thinking about doing that anyway. And since I took all the dirt out, they're a little bit high. So if I'm under one, grab it. And it's like, you know, it can be a little tough. You can't really see the, the other ones nearby. If you're up higher, you know, you can see them a little bit better. Not a big deal, but it also blocks my view when I'm on the upper porch. So. <laughs> Uh, I, mean, I don't know, I turn this into juice or what? You've got, uh, so you can see, we got a lot of apples. Apple trees are your friend. Uh, eventually we'll get to the point where we won't even be bothered picking them most of the time, just because we'll have, have, you know, we just won't need all that. We'll have other foods. And, um, you know, the, the juices are okay. Now you can make, um, you can make jelly from it. If we get to the point where we get uh, peanuts, um, which takes a lot of mutations to get those, and uh, 
I don't. I haven't seen any of the uh, the uh, their gardens. They're called in Pam's Harbor's craft, and you got different kinds. And one of them will have uh, could have peanuts in it. You've got like a fruit garden that'll have like different berries. Um, you've got a tropical garden. It'll have things like uh, I think cocoa. It'll have pineapple and stuff like that. There's gourd gardens, and they'll have all your different gourds like pumpkin, uh, winter squash, uh, zucchini. I think is in that one. There's arid ones which will have um, uh, like the, the uh, desert cactus uh, cactus flower. I think it's called. Um, so there's like several different ones, and you can break those. There's a leafy garden that'll have like lettuce and cabbage, and that's you know that's an easy way of getting a lot of those seeds. But I I don't I don't know. Let me see. Do we have any gardens? I haven't seen any, so I'm, I don't think they. Oh, actually, yeah. Berry see berry garden, desert garden, grass garden. That'll have like wheat, and barley. And I I think it'll have wheat. I don't have like barley and stuff like that. Gourd garden, uh, ground garden. That'll have, I think, the might have spices in it, maybe, uh, or herb garden. Um, herb garden, you know, probably has like uh, oh, maybe a spice leaf and curry and stuff like that. Uh, leafy garden. There's a mushroom garden that'll have mushrooms. I know it's got like the white mushrooms. Uh, a stock garden. Um, things like celery. Uh, textile garden will have, um, I know it'll have cotton seeds. There's your tropical garden. Uh, there's a water garden that'll have, I think, seaweed seeds and um, uh, rice, maybe. Uh, oh, garden soup. Mm, light meal. But, you know, it's too, it's not that great. Yeah, it's a little bit of work to make it, so I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's see. What are we going to do next? Uh, check our journal. Oh, that's right. We needed to make uh, we need to make some aluminum brass. And aluminum brass, I'll, I'll double check. I think it's three aluminum and one um, one copper. Aluminum brass. So smelting is alloying is what we want to look at. So 48, 16. So it's a 3 to 1. So it's 3 aluminum to 1 copper. So let's grab, let's sort this so I can have everything together. No, that's 10. Where's my aluminum? Where's my aluminum down here? Okay. So we'll grab, well, let's do 6. 1, 2, 3. Let's we'll throw the bucket up here. I need to carry it around. And that means we need 2 copper. So that gives us the, the, the 3 to 1 ratio. And uh, that's 8 things, so we can do that in here pretty easily. Um, you'll see that, that, you know, we put 9 ingots in, uh, sorry, nine, uh, two, 2 blocks. Uh, sorry, we put 9 blocks in. We get 2 ingots from each one, so that's 18. And casting basin, so I'll just click that, and it pours out. And this should cool pretty quickly, and we'll have a block of iron. Now, um, we're going to want to be making a forge, and for that, we're going to need the uh, uh, we're going to need some more seared brick for one thing. Uh, let's right-click that again, get another one made. And we're going to need uh, we, we use the old tool station um, as part of the recipe. So three of the big uh, bricks of uh, seared bricks. And we're going to need four blocks of uh, one of three metals. We can do it with iron, we can do it with copper, or you can do it with uh, steel. Um, I, I think, actually, no, actually, I think you can do it with some other materials too. You might, uh, might be able to do it with like aluminum and you know, some other things like that. Um, I'm not sure though if this pack will actually give you credit in the quest book though if you make it out of anything else. Um, I know I've run into some issues before. Oh, I don't want copper. I want this. Because we'll make two more blocks of iron. We have a, a, a good stockpile of iron. So why not? I guess we'll use it. Um, now when we go to make the casts, um, you can make them actually either using gold or the aluminum brass. Now Aluminum is kind of a, a, a limited use in, in most mod packs. Um, 
Tinkers uses it. Most mods don't. I think um, is it maybe industrial engineering uh, uses it for aluminum wire or something. But there isn't a whole lot of use for aluminum generally. And so you wind up with you know, far more aluminum than you, than you know what to do with it. At some point, you just stop gathering it because you don't know what to do with it. Um, and I don't think it, like, turns into any, like, you can't, like, really chisel it to anything good-looking. So, it, you know, we, we don't have to worry about that. Uh, and gold, you know, if we had gold, I certainly don't want to be using it to make molds. Um, let me get this pouring out. And... Let's see how we're doing on time. Oh, I didn't realize how long we're running. So I guess I'm going to uh, end the episode now. Um, we're running about 45 minutes. Uh, but we got the smeltery up and running. Uh, we did. Uh, there's credit for... There's the seed out. Oh, I didn't collect the reward for that. Let's claim the reward. We'll take a look at that in a second. Uh, we had this one. Okay, we haven't completed anything there yet. Um, let's open our reward bag. Hope it's something other than fish. And it's a flint pickaxe. Hmm. I don't know. I can't even see it. Um, well, uh, you know, a flint pickaxe. Um, uh, it mines at an iron level. It's, you know, clumsy. It, it does have... Uh, it's not showing, but it has a, a decent durability. If you have lots of flint or lots of gravel, anyway, uh, it can you know be a, a nice thing to have flint tools. Uh, but you know we're already mining an iron level here. We got auto repair. Um, unless I got some kind of automatic modifier on this pick that I don't like, like smelting, I probably wouldn't want auto smelting on it. Um, because I want to be able to double my ores. I don't want them smelting as I'm using them, or as I'm mining them. Uh, so, uh, you know, what I can do is I can replace parts on this. So, you know, a quest very soon is going to have us make a copper pickaxe head. Uh, we'll be able to throw that on there, but that means we got to repair it with copper. That means we've got to carry copper around us. Uh, you know, it's kind of a double-edged sword, but I believe copper can mine some, might be able to mine gold, perhaps. Um, probably still isn't able to get us diamonds um, and you know it's you know this way I've already got some good stuff I got auto repair here on here I've got reinforced to the stone bounds just because uh, it's got the stone uh, pickaxe head um, hold shift for XP so this one's showing the XP you see it's it's almost ready to go up again right and my skill level is in a depth so that'll go up again and uh, we'll wind up getting another modifier thrown on here. And, you know, it could be another reinforce, it could be auto repair, it could be uh, fortune, would be a nice thing to have. You can also end up with, like, looting, which I don't think looting is going to do us any good unless we use it as a weapon. Um, but uh, it won't help us with the mining. But, you know, there's also, I'm trying to think, you can get more, we could get more auto repair, we could get haste. Uh, this other one's got uh, haste on it, and it's got reinforced one on it, um, so that's not too bad. Um, you know, I've, I've just kept the matic wood right now because, you know, for one thing, it, it's got less durability, so it's going to level up faster. Not that I necessarily care that much about it, but, you know, if, if I'm using it to cut trees and stuff, I'm, I'm somewhere where there's, you know, I, I'm, if I'm cutting trees, I've got, already got wood I'm getting. If, uh, you know, I'm farming or something. There's probably trees nearby. I can always go punch me to get a piece of wood and, and repair up the uh, thematic. So it's it, it's kind of handy from that standpoint. Um, it is also normally possible to like throw a capacitor or something in it and add the uh, flux modifier to it, which I, I think is still in the pack. But I think uh, when you're using iguana tinker tweaks, you can't enchant or or put uh, manually put uh, modifiers on it, so it, you know, it's, it's kind of nice that it happens automatically. You don't have to use materials, especially if you get like fortune and don't have to use uh, you know a pile of uh, a lapis to get there. Um, but anyway, as I say, I'm going pretty long. Uh, it is time that uh, we end this episode. Uh, I will do another one shortly. Um, I probably am just going to. Uh, move the crops uh, or plant some crops up here get some wheat and uh, get
at the, the carrots up there. The, uh, the beets, uh, if I didn't mention this already, the beets were a cross between the uh, carrots and the wheat. So, um, you know, besides, you know, like, like we got the barley before, uh, it's just a cross crop. And, uh, you know, just there's a, a lot of different things you can get. And uh, we'll be, you know, seeing more in the future. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, please uh, like if you like the video, uh, and uh, you know, subscribe to my channel if you want, and let me know when uh, new ones are coming out. Uh, this has been uh, Roman X for uh, Roman X Games, with, uh, and I'll see you in uh, episode six. Take care.